meet you. After all this social distancing is over, we're going to have to make that happen for sure. And speaking of social distancing, of course, that means many of our regular guests have been graciously recording videos for us from their own homes. That includes Joy McCabe, who shares this great cookie recipe. Hey everybody, we're making one of my favorite cookies today. It's the crisp pecan cookie. And the reason I wanted to make this cookie, this recipe uses self-rising flour. I was in the grocery store the other day, noticed there was no plain all-purpose flour, but there was plenty of self-rising flour. So I thought these are cookies would be the perfect thing to make when you're wanting to bake. So first thing, I've got some butter and sugar, and I've been uh, mixing that together so it's nice and fluffy, scrape down the sides of the bowl as needed. Next, I'm gonna add in one egg, and I'm just gonna let that um, continue to mix together until, the, um, until it's nice and smooth. All right, next I'm gonna start adding our flour. Now, again, this is self-rising flour, two and a half cups here. I had um, two sticks of butter, a cup of sugar, one egg. So we're just gonna add this in, just a little flour at a time. Okay, so we've added the flour and I've scraped down the sides of the bowl so that everything's mixed together well. And the next thing I'm gonna add, chopped pecans. This is two cups of chopped pecans. And while I'm adding these pecans, I'm gonna tell you something about these cookies. This, well, the cookies freeze really, really well. And I mean, I've had them in my freezer for six months and they've come out just perfectly. So a lot of times I'll make a big batch of these and um, that will really, uh, it's nice to have so you have them on hand for tailgating or parties or gifts or whatever. So the pecans have been added in. Next, I'm going to uh, put the cookies out on the baking sheet. What I usually do, I just pinch off little bits of this cookie dough. I don't want to roll it in a ball. I want it to be kind of irregular shapes like I have here. And you'll want to cook these at 250 degrees um, for one hour. That's an unusual way to cook cookies, I know. 250 degrees for one hour. But what's gonna happen, these cookies are going to become crisp and buttery and they're sweet and then you've got this toasted pecan flavor it is a great little cookie to have so enjoy these cookies they're fun to make delicious to eat if only i could reach through and grab one man they look delicious